Hey guys, and welcome to Digital Blaze. Let's get into service. Can I reshoot that? Mm. I don't know what to say. I always say that. I, I wanted to say something different. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to Digital Blaze. Let's get into service. I don't know where it goes after. It's graduation Tuesday. Well, it's actually Wednesday. Wow, that was a lot of volume. A lot of I feel like they're used to it by now, though. So you should expect volume when you come to digital blade. I would say expect the unexpected, but you should expect the expected. We yell, we're loud. It's what we do. So we're changing it up this week. Very special time in a lot of teenagers' life. It is graduation season. It is graduation season. And so that can mean many things. It can mean you're graduating from high school, you're graduating from college. They even do this thing around here where they graduate from elementary Which to junior high. Which I think is so high. weird. <laughs> and I know I have a young child, so eventually he too will be in elementary but school. It's great, but it's great, because they're like, guess what? You graduated from school, now more school. More school. <laughs> so it's really good. You so, did it. You made it through kindergarten like everyone else. <laughs> And now you have junior high and then high school All and right. then eight years of college with thousands like of dollars of debt. No, I'm kidding. Okay. All right. So be excited. So Cody had this awesome idea. I did have an awesome it, idea. Yeah. He was due. And so it's fine. Um, but anyways, we sent out to our leaders a question. If you could tell a graduate one thing, like life advice yeah, yeah. or maybe one funny thing, just one thing. What would that thing be? So we're yeah. going to read some of those things to you today and then we're going to discuss them or give our very humble opinions and commentary on what we think they really meant. For sure. And I feel like this is, you know, obviously we're talking about graduation season. So this is you, maybe you just graduated high school, or whatever it is, and you're entering into a new phase of your life. But I believe that all of this will still apply no matter what season of life you're in. This is all applicable to your situation. Yeah. All right. So the first one that I have, if I can find my screenshots, Oh, no, nope, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. That's so how the wrong are you one. guys today? You doing well? All right. Oh, there it so is. So this is the first nugget from our good <laughs> friend and leader, Craig. The All Craig right. Landon. So he says, first, congratulations. Don't just glaze over the accomplishment of graduating high school. It's a big deal and you should be proud of yourself. This has been your life for like 12 plus years and you are stepping into a new season of your life. Regardless of how your high school career played out, do not let that be the standard by which you measure everything that is to come. That is a very cool set. Good job, Craig. Well, There's a well whole written. life ahead of you and you'll miss, uh, you'll miss so much of these first few years if you're looking back on what was. Don't dwell on past struggles, accomplishments, and experiences. Look ahead, or better yet, look up. The Lord knows you and the plans he has for you. Good plans, stay Amen. focused on him, especially when things get difficult. Do not let anything drift you away from your relationship with God. It may seem like everything that lies ahead of you is unknown or daunting, but you know a God who knows your end. Lean into him and allow him to guide you through this uncharted territory. We love you and are rooting for you, praying for you, fighting for you, Godspeed. And he said, if that's too long, he gives me permission to condense it. And I did not, so. <laughs> Woo! True to form, Craig. Love Man. you, buddy. Proud of you. Uh, I'll just start at the beginning. He is right. It is a great accomplishment. For sure. Uh, especially in Madison City Schools or wherever you graduated from. I know the standard around here is daunting. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's quite a task and every year our graduates, they graduate with a lot of scholarships, they graduate with good GPAs, but really it doesn't matter what your grades were, how you did in school, how you didn't do in school, you graduated. And so that is quite an achievement. You should be very proud of yourself, proud of your accomplishment as you get ready for the next season. Absolutely. And one thing that I want to touch on that he said, he said, you know, basically don't focus on the years behind you. Don't focus on things, past experience, accomplishments, or even failures. You know, one of the scriptures says, press forward yeah. towards the mark. Don't look behind you. You know, one thing that I've always thought was really interesting is, you know, I'm a runner. Well, at least I call myself a runner. I run for fun. And that's weird for some people to like 
wrap their head around, but I wouldn't be very good at running if I was always looking behind me while I ran. I probably would run <laughs> into something. Video. I wouldn't be able to run very Come fast. Man. My running form would be super off. And so basically you're looking towards the place that you are running to. Yeah. And it's very applicable to this situation because if you are working towards something in God, if you are looking behind you, if you're constantly looking at your past, yeah. you're never gonna get to where God wants you to be. Which actually that brings us to the next one I was reading. Um, I think it was Elisa. So yeah, so this is good. This is Elisa Radway. Love you, Elisa. And uh, she said, trust that you hear the voice of the Lord and be careful whose opinions you let into your life. Being uncomfortable in growth is the best place to be. Now, I this really is, like that sentence. <laughs> yeah, this is, this, this is the one that segues into what you're talking about. Though. Transitions are always strange. Mm. And so transitions are strange. You're transitioning from high school, a very, uh, routine you've been in for a very long time. Right, it's all you've known. It's all you've known. And so, you know, transitions are always strange. It's okay to take a few moments and grieve the ending of this season while being excited for the next one. Don't be afraid to admit you've messed up. Don't be afraid to let some people go to grab a hold of new friendships. Just don't be afraid. Keep talking to Jesus and every little thing is going to be all right. So, uh, she, and then she said that looks like more, bar more, than a, more than a paragraph if it's too long. Feel free to edit it. Everyone's telling us to edit what they said. <laughs> but you know, um, that is one thing. One thing we've learned about life is it's always changing. Yeah. You know, seasons end, new seasons start. We even see that in the, the, the seasons of the year. Fall, went well around here, it's like summer all year round. <laughs> all year but, round with a little bit a little of spring, bit of a little bit of fall, <laughs> then a lot of winter. Yeah, and the colors change. But you know, and sometimes seasonal changes can be difficult. When we go from winter to spring, allergies, and it sucks. And it's like your nose hurts, your face hurts, you're sneezing, you're coughing, whatever. And so that transition can be difficult or uncomfortable. Yeah. And I think, you just have to learn how to embrace every moment. Learn how to, you know what, I went to high school, I graduated, I'm not gonna look back, I'm just gonna be looking forward, I'm gonna enjoy the time that I had, but now I'm moving on to the next thing. Absolutely. And so the next one we have is from our good buddy, Nick Morrow. Nicholas! He says, stay involved in church no matter whether you stay at home or go off to college. It's yeah. easy for the world to pull you away unless you stay rooted in the word and surrounded by people of like faith. Press beyond what everyone expects of you and seek what God has and wants for you. And I think that's something that, uh, you know, even Daniel mentioned you know, in the one we're about to read too, is basically surround yourself with people that have like faith, like goals, like mind, serve our God. You yeah. know, because I think if you're around people, you know, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians, you know, bad company corrupts good morals, but I also like to think like good company can promote good morals too. And so if you're around people that are hungry after God, that are chasing after God, it will inspire you to be hungry after God. It'll inspire you in your faith. It'll inspire you when you're down and out. So you wanna, and especially in this season, cause things are gonna be changing. Yep. You're gonna be confused. You're gonna know, like, it's all on you now. The decisions are up to you. You're no Ooh, longer- Big time decisions. Like, you're no longer <laughs> being brought to church by yeah. your parents. You're no yeah. longer being carted around by someone, whether it's your choice or not. Like it is ultimately up to you whether you have a relationship with God. So if you can Which surround... is a really good point because what's helping us make those choices? Yeah. What's helping us decide? You know, there's freedoms that come with being a graduate. And, uh, you know, I think what he is saying is such good advice because lots of times when people graduate and they go to college or they start their career, one of the first things they let go of is their relationship yeah. with church and the relationship with God. So you've got to fight to hold on to that and fight to hold on what matters to you and surrounding yourself with people of like faith is so precious. Proverbs 27, yeah. 17 talks about let iron sharpen iron. Always surround yourself from this moment moving forward. Surround yourself with people that make you a better person. Don't always be the smartest person in the room. Don't always be the most spiritual person in the room. You need people that are gonna encourage you and bring you up to a higher level. Put people around you that make you better and fight to stay connected to church. Whether you move away to go to college, whether you move away for a career, find a good solid church because we all need that connection. Amen. And so Daniel Braxton also said, way to go in finishing and getting out of there, but remember the Lord's help. Remember to seek him for counsel and guidance in everything that you're pursuing. Keep him involved in it, and that's the key to finding success in the next step of life. And he even gave a scripture, Proverbs 16, three, out of the Amplified, he said, commit your works to the Lord, submit and trust Amen. them to him, and your plans will succeed. Yep. If you respond to his will, 
and guidance. And I like that you know, the Amplify brings that out. It's like your plans are gonna succeed if you respond yeah, to God's absolutely. will, if you respond to his guidance. So if you're confused and you're lost and you don't know what to do, you go to God. You know, the Bible says over in James that if you need wisdom, just ask. ask. That's right. And God is willing yeah. to give it to you. So yeah. if you need help in this next season, if you need help in college, you need help in the workplace, you need help in doing whatever endeavor you need to do, God is willing to give yeah. you guidance and you will succeed if you obey it. And that's the Bible. Bible says multitudes are in the valley of decision. You have a lot of choices that you're getting ready to make on your own and it's, it's an exciting time, but what is influencing those decisions? Yeah. Is it friends? Is it opinions of people around you? Is it news? Is it Twitter? Is it Instagram? Is it Snapchat? What influences your decisions and your choices? Listen, the best person to influence your choices is God. And the reason why it's the best person and he's the best person it's because he's always consistent and he's perfect in all of his ways. So if you listen to God and you make decisions after his heart and after his will, your choices are going to be perfect because he is perfect. And so staying centered with him is just a really good uh, advice and it's something we all need to do. Now I want to read a couple. I was going to say, I yeah. want to read <laughs> We are always giving you guys spiritual advice. We have a little bit of practical things too. You know, we're not just always up here hanging out at the church, just reading our Bibles every single day all the time. You know, we, we live lives too. So here's some things that I've found from a <laughs> I found from a list that I'm pretty sure was from like a Cosmo girl kind of thing. <laughs> so this the first thing was like the, lady. <laughs> the first thing was like don't waste your time on that man he ain't worth it. <laughs> Which like, is actually <laughs> great advice you know spend your time following God and he'll get you the man that's worth it. That's right. <laughs> so, spend your time on the right man because he's worth it. <laughs> I absolutely love this one and as weird as it sounds it says take care of your teeth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Like after I graduated and I moved out of my parents' house, I think it was like 15 years before I had my first dentist appointment. And when I went in there, I had all sorts of issues. It's just not something we think about. And I was always like, I don't want to spend the money going to the dentist. I have a toothbrush, but it's really something you need to do. And I was in there for a couple hours and they were scraping. I had like some plaque and I got, anyways, take care of your teeth. It's good life uh. advice. Man, okay, uh, one thing that's not really in this list, but something that's always stuck out to me, you know, when Kylene and I first got married, you know, we were trying to save money and, you know, obviously live on a budget as best as possible. And so we were always buying the great value brand of everything. But one thing that her dad always told her growing up is that you never buy the great value brand of toilet paper. And I feel like that is some valuable advice because you can go cheap on anything you want but toilet paper is worth a good solid investment. Go ahead and get the AY. Bring for the TP. <laughs> the TP, especially in yeah. this time, as you all may know, toilet paper is precious, so get the good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is actually really good advice, and it's advice that not only should you know as a student, but it's something you should communicate to your children. It's easy, it says, your parents are human too. Yeah. So what I want you to do is reflect on your own life. Have you made every decision correctly? Have you done everything absolutely right before God and made every choice correctly? If the answer is no, well, you need to think about this. Why? Because you're human. Well, guess who else is human? Mom and dad. And you know what they're doing for the first time? Being parents. And so they're gonna make mistakes. I tell my children all the time, I've never had a 10 year old. <laughs> Be easy on me, you know what I mean? I'm learning how to do this. but. I think that's something we should just remember about life. Your professors are human too. So everything they say isn't ironclad you know, doctrine. They're human and they have opinions. Your friends are human. Basically, what am I saying? Let the love of God that shed abroad in your heart be extended to everybody. Give mercy, give grace, give love because we're all human and we all make mistakes. Amen. You know, one of these things that's here at the end, uh, I really wanted to get to take naps because I feel like that's important too. <laughs> like, you should definitely, I love at taking naps. I guess I am dog. getting into it. You should take a nap. If you are tired, <laughs> take, to me, a good solid nap at the end of the day, or before, I guess the end of the day, that's a sleep. But if I take a good solid nap during the day, it's just like, ah, oh, my day is complete. But anyway, one thing. But that's not for everyone. I take naps and I wake up crabby. Uh, so do you. At least try it. Take a nap. <laughs> You're going to go to sleep and never wake up. Oh no, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, one of these things here that I, that I think is just so awesome, it says, never be ashamed of who you are. Facts. Don't be ashamed of being different. Don't be ashamed yeah. of everything that you are, no matter what it is, no matter your height, your 
weight, your skin color, don't be ashamed. You are made perfect in God. You know, it Amen. talks about in Ephesians that you are his masterpiece. Right. You are a poetry written by God. Be proud Amen. of poetry. that. God wants to use you exactly how you are. Don't let anyone else tell you that you are less than that. Wonderfully and beautifully made. The last one, at least I think it's the last one. Sure. And it kind of goes with what he just said. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing. One of the best decisions I ever made was to stop following the crowd and start following God. Amen. That was the best choice. And if I could give you a single nugget of advice, that's what my advice would be. Yeah. Do what God has told you to do. Don't follow the crowd. The crowd's not always right. Sometimes you'll be with the crowd, sometimes you won't be with the crowd, but you should always be with God. Your choices and your life. When I started following him, it's truly what Matthew 6, 33 says. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things right. will be added unto you. Absolutely. I found my career, I found my ministry, I found my wife, I found my family, I found my true friends, I found my home, I found everything I was looking for when I started seeking God. Amen. When I left the crowd and started following him. So good. Yeah, it's the best advice you can it's give So anyone. true. So. All right, well, we love you guys so much. We hope- Congratulations! <laughs> we hope something out of today at least gave you some joy and encouragement and inspiration, and at least hopefully- you did good. We had a good time together. But yes, congratulations on your achievement of graduating high school or any other type of, maybe you graduated elementary yeah. school and you're watching this today. Congratulations, So go buddy. buy expensive toilet paper and brush your teeth on the way. And take a nap. <laughs> you're tired and you're While cranky. You're driving. <laughs> Sleepy deep. <laughs> All right, we love you okay, guys. Bye. We'll see you next week on Digital Oblivion. <laughs> I said sleepy sleep. <laughs> <laughs>